Hello, and welcome to the AWC Automation Channel. My name is Alan Sapien, and today we'll cover analog values and how they're scaled. When working with analog values in any programming environment, it is important to translate a value into useful units for the program to understand. In this video, we will assume that we are working on a 4 to 20 milliamp sensor that reads the height of a liquid in a tank. You may recognize the project I am using from the UDTs video. In this project, your sensor will provide a 4 to 20 milliamp signal with 4 milliamps being the max distance between the sensor and the liquid surface below, with 20 milliamps being the minimum distance. This may not be with the sensor head right against the liquid, as not all tanks are constructed the same. The first consideration is how does my PLC see this information coming in? Well, first you need to see what the sensor outputs and how the channel is configured in the hardware configuration. As you can see in this hardware configuration, the hardware input is set for voltage. Since that is not what the sensor will be sending to the PLC, we'll get data that doesn't make sense. For this example, we'll change the measurement type to current and our voltage range, which will become current range, for 4 to 20. However your channel is configured will show full range as 0 to 27648. Those are engineering units. That is, in this case, 4 milliamps will come across as 0 and 20 milliamps will come across as 27648. Anything below will be under range and anything over will be over range. Now that we have our analog input coming in on input word 96, we can start manipulating the data. The first step is to normalize the value. There's a norm x block that you can use. With this block, all you need to provide is the input address, min and max for the incoming value, and a place to store the normalized output. This block will provide you with a 0.0, .0 to 1.0 value. It may be tempting at this point to just multiply your normalized value by your maximum scaled output. This is incorrect and can lead to values being skewed towards either end of the scale. For example, if you did that with a temperature sensor that read 30 to 200 degrees, your output could give you from 0 to 200, but that wouldn't change the temperature in reality. Once you have normalized your input, Pass your normalized value from norm x to scale x and provide the upper and lower bounds for your scale. This block will provide you with a scaled output. If done correctly, you should be able to make your bounds 0 to 100% or x to y units. For further assistance, products, or training, please contact us at 1 800 AWC Info or www.awc-inc.com. We're here to help. 